All right. So a few videos back, well, it was probably a while ago, a while ago in old Reading Farm history, we talked about the potential of starting a fiber mill. This was in part because we were frustrated and having trouble with the experience of getting our fiber processed from all of our alpacas. So with the amount of alpacas we have, which right now is 31 in case you're tracking at home, we get a lot of fiber and then we have to send it off to a mill. We had a mill that we used every year. We love, love, love them. And then she put her house slash mill on the market and we then were sort of floundering. We thought we found another mill and then they kept trying to talk us into rug yarn, which we weren't interested in because we do hats. Um, we shipped all of our yarn to Idaho. It ended up taking like 50% longer than they told us it was gonna take. So we were just like, we're over this. We're just gonna do it ourselves. So right? that's like the self-sufficient dream. Um, we had just sold a house, so we had a little bit of extra money kicking around, but it turns out to do like milling equipment, you need not just like a little bit of extra money kicking around, you need like $200,000 extra kicking around. And um, since that's like basically an entire house, <laughs> we were like, oh, okay, um, maybe not. And that was just basically for the equipment and we were gonna put it in the big house and then we started getting quotes from like electricians and plumbers to get that house like, even just like basically functional. We hadn't even started to figure out like the heat setup. It was gonna be a whole big thing. So we sort of gave up on it completely. And then I was social media influenced by somebody called Made Weave Love on Instagram. Um, I'll put a link maybe in the description box to her Instagram. She is, amazing so she makes she makes bats she like blends her own fiber makes these beautiful bats and then takes the bats and makes her own yarn and then takes this yarn and makes these like beautiful beautiful scarves that she sells for like big bucks and I don't think I want to take it in like that particular direction because she does like a lot of super colorful things and as much as I like color one thing that I like about our alpaca fiber is the natural colors of the animals. So long story short, except for it's not been short. So the TLDR is we've downsized our milling dreams and we've got our first piece of equipment that's come in. So this is a spinner. It's from Ashford Wheels and Looms. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. drive belt here. Um, I didn't plug in the power supply. I don't have anything that I can like spin with it right now. So I'm just going to let it be. Um, I have an extra, this is called a bobbin. I have an extra bobbin. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid to turn it on. It was kind of expensive, so I don't want to wreck it. I want John to look, I want John to look at it. Um, 
but the instructions were pretty clear. It was pretty interesting to put together. We also have a drum carter coming. Um, once our drum carter comes, I think we will probably try to make a little bit of yarn. We're not gonna do like big batches of yarn that will make hats out of. This will probably be more like art yarn. Um, see how it goes. I'm a little bit intimidated by like all the terminology, but interesting. All right, so it's a few weeks later. I'm potentially wearing the exact same hoodie that I was wearing in the other video. And this is the drum carter. It finally came in the mail. Not finally, we didn't order it that long ago, but you know, I was excited. So this is the thing that spins the like raw fiber into like usable bats. Um, a bat is just like a, you know, terminology word for like an organized poof of fiber, I think. Yeah, oh man, this is gonna be hard to open. So let me get into this and pull this big thing out. This says it weighs 70 pounds on the box. It's quite heavy. This is how it's looking in the box. So this is, this big thing here is the drum. And I don't know what the rest of all that is. So I think this is gonna be a no assembly required type of situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is clean off my desk where I think I'm gonna put this for now. And maybe I'll show you. Can you see? Okay, up there. Yikes, so that horror show is the loft. That's the loft over our like bedroom. Um, and I think we're gonna turn that into like a fiber studio for me. That's the like current working plan. So this wall here where my desk is, right now there's a ladder and that's what we use to climb up there. There used to be a ladder that just like leaned on that and came down. But one time that ladder <laughs> slipped out from under me and I hit the floor, scared all the dogs. So, we replaced it with like a normal A-frame ladder, but we were looking online and maybe I'll put a link to it or whatever. Um, you can get like a spiral staircase from Home Depot for only like a couple hundred bucks. So we were talking about putting a spiral staircase right there so you'd be able to like actually walk up there and put down more solid flooring because the flooring right now is a little bit squishy. It's kind of like if you have like an old attic space and it's just like, something down so it's not just insulation though there's no insulation so um that's the current working plan so i'm gonna my desk is all covered in junk so i'm gonna clean that off really quick and try to get this carter set up on my desk What do you think? It's big. It is big. It's really cool though. I'm scared to start using it. Well, we can we can practice. We're gonna pra we're gonna practice off camera. It's the first time I use it. I'm not gonna be on camera. Okay, so let me show it to you. This is how oh, that's you, uh, the pick thing that picks it off. Yeah, through there. Yeah, and then you've got. Uh... Ooh. I'm excited. His little cousin. A little baby. <laughs> and instructions. Good. So let me. So this is what it looks like. So basically, what I know so far 
is you put fiber either down here and it rolls through this roller onto this roller or if you want to be like more artistic about it you can roll bits of fiber directly onto here to get like more direct streaks um so this is very fancy look at what a cute instruction reader john is all showered and clean and everything have you seen that like hot guys reading instagram or something like that no i have not why is that in your instagram feed it's not in my Instagram feed. Taylor, who I used to work with, used to like send me screen grabs of it before I was on Instagram. A likely story, everyone. But I mean, if this isn't hot guys reading. <laughs> what is? What is? Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. We are going to learn to use both of these pieces of equipment that you have watched us unbox. We will try to make a little bit of yarn, see how that goes. We will work on getting my fiber loft up and going. That's a long-term thing. It's not like an immediate thing, but John did get to buy a new piece of, what do you call it, machinery or equipment? equipment. Got a planer. Yeah, John got a good excuse to go buy a planer. So everybody wins. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Bye. So I think this is gonna be a no assembly required type situation. Ooh, look at all the mess behind me. So I think this is gonna...